So why do people enact covenants even in the Bible? The first reason why people enact covenants is to establish friendship and relationship. In 1 Samuel chapter 18, verse 3, it said, Then Jonathan and David made a covenant because he loved him as his own soul. So they wanted to keep that love. So that was friendship. In 1 Kings 5, verse 12, it says, And the Lord gave Solomon wisdom as he promised him, and there was peace between Hiram and Solomon. And the two made a league together because there was peace. So the friendship had to continue. The second reason why people were not covenants is to establish peace. In Joshua chapter 9, verse 15 to 16, say, And Joshua made peace with them and made a league with them to let them live. And the princes of the congregation swear to them. And it came to pass at the end of three days. So this was uh, <laughs> a Gibeon night. But of course, we told you what happened. They made peace, made peace with themselves. Uh, he didn't know that they were neighbors. So that's three days before he discovered this. Hallelujah. The third reason is to enrich you know, their lives, their estate, or maybe their economy. So this was one that was kind of selfish in nature. But most times, it was mutually exclusive. And this is what happened even between King Solomon and Hiram. First Kings chapter 5, verse 6 to 11. It said, Now therefore, command thou that they hew me cedar trees out of Lebanon, and my servants shall be with thy servants, and unto thee will I give hire for thy servants, according to all that thou shall appoint. For thou knowest that there is not, not among us any that can ski to hew timber like unto the Sidonians. And it came to pass, when Hiram heard the words of Solomon, that he rejoiced greatly and said, Blessed be the Lord this day, which had given unto David a wise son over these great people. And Hiram sent to Solomon, saying, I have considered the things which thou sentest to me. He said, For and I will do all the desires concerning timber of cedar and concerning timber of fee. Say, my servant shall bring them down from Lebanon unto the sea, and I will convey them by sea in floats unto the place that thou shalt appoint me. He say, and I will cause them to be, dis to, to be discharged there, and thou shalt receive them, and thou shalt accomplish my desire in giving food to my household. So Hiram gave Solomon cedar trees and fig trees according to all his desire. And Solomon gave Hiram 20,000 measures of wheat for food to his household and 20 measures of pure oil. He said, Thus gave Solomon to Hiram year by year. So they struck a covenant to enrich themselves. So for Hiram, he was to have food. Why? For Solomon trees, uh, cedar trees were to be given him to help him build the temple. So this was kind of mutually exclusive. Hallelujah. But it was all for the enrichment of their lives. Hallelujah. So the fourth reason why people enact covenant is it was for mutual protection. In Genesis chapter 26 verse 28 to 29, it said, And they said, We saw certainly that the Lord was with thee. And we said, Let there be now an ought between us, even between us and thee. Let us make a covenant with thee, that thou will do us no hurt, as we have not touched thee, as we have done unto thee nothing but good, and have sent thee away in peace. He said, Thou art now the blessed of the Lord. So this was uh, Abimelech coming to strike covenant even with Isaac, as I said before. So Genesis chapter 31, verse 50 to 52, he says, if thou shalt afflict my daughter, or if thou shalt take other wives besides my daughters, say, no, no man is with us. See, God is witness between me and thee. And Laban said to Jacob, Behold, this heap, and behold, this pillar, which I have cast between me and thee, this heap be witness, and this pillar be witness, that I will not pass over this heap to thee, and that thou shalt not pass over this heap and this pillar unto me for harm. 
That was Jacob and Laban when they struck the covenant for mutual protection. Hallelujah. So the fifth reason why people enact covenant is for assessing help in times of need. Example, war or hardship. In 1 Kings 15, verse 18 to 19, the Bible says, Then Asa took all the silver and the gold that were with him in the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house and delivered them into the hand of his servant. And King Esa sent them to ben the son of Tabrimo, the son of Hezion, king of Syria, that dwelt at Damascus, saying, There is a leaf between me and thee, and between my father and thy father. Behold, I have sent unto thee a present of silver and gold. Come and break thy league with Besha, king of Israel, that he may depart even from me. And that was exactly what he did. In 1 Kings chapter 15, verse 20 to 22, the Bible says, in following up with the demand, it says, So Ben Hadad hearkened unto King Esther and sent the captains of the host which he had he had against the city of Israel and smote in John and Dan and Ababat Marke and all Shinerot, he say, with all the land of Naphtali. And it came to pass when Basha heard thereof that he left off building of Ramah and dwelt in Tezah. Then King Esa made a proclamation throughout all Judah, saying, No, what exempted. And they took, they took away the stones of Ramah and the timber thereof, wherewith Basha had built it. And King Esa built with them Geba of Benjamin and Mizpah.